Um, so, little thing changed in my schedule. I was actually going to be doing a different uh, wig first, but I am doing this one because this is going to a new owner, and I wanted to do a video of this because um, there is not a video done on this specific color in this wig, um, at least that I could find. When I was searching for this wig, I could not find a video in this color. So I really wanted to do this um, on it. Um, this wig and this is a Zara by John Renault and oh my goodness this is my second wig that I ever got um, I was so in love with Zara and looking her up and finding out about her I watched tons of YouTube videos and I was looking at this color but I could not find um, any pictures or any videos of this shade so I wanted to do that for you guys so I love the Zara it's a long gorgeous gorgeous wig um, it hits me about right here and it's just long and beautiful I love it um, so a little info on the Zara wig this is 14 slash 26 s10 the S is for the rooted, so it is rooted, but not a dark rooted. It's not the dark root um, that's like on the FS812. Um, that is a much darker root, because um, I was in between those two shades. Um, and typically, like I said in my um, How I Started Wearing Wigs, is I am brunette. Um, and so I didn't want to go too blonde at first. Um, so I was a little nervous and this was blonder than my second wig or my first wig that I got. Anyway, this is a beautiful wig. Uh, I just love it, love it, love it. Um, but I'm going to be getting this wig in a different shade just because of going darker. And I went with the shorter summer style, um, the Beltress Columbia. I wanted to wear that one primarily. So, um, this is the beautiful Zara. So. All right, so let me give you some specs about this wig. Um, it is 1426S10, which is also called Shaleed, Shaded Praline and Creams. Um, it's kind of, that's like the, you know, the name given to some of the John Renault wigs. Um, it's a mono top. And I'll take this off here in a minute to show you guys inside the cap. But it's a mono top. Love it. It's from here to here. It has some temple lace though right there in the side. So that's nice. Um, but mono top right here to here. So anywhere between the this and this section you can um, pin it back. I wear, I've wore my bumps. I love doing my bumps um, with this. You can braid it. You can flip it to the other side um, if you do um, a right part instead of a left part. I'm a more left part person, so that's where I'm wearing it right now. It's a smart lace, like I said, and it's synthetic hair fiber, but it's a really pretty synthetic. I think the synthetic is a little thicker on this wig um, than my, um, my other wigs. It just feels a little different, but I still love it. Um, no complaints there, um, but I kind of like it when it is thicker. I feel like it's not as many flyaways um, as my other wigs that are like fine synthetics. Okay, so here are some specs for this wig and some measurements. So the bangs are 11 and a half. So I have a seven and a half inch face. When I've measured here to here, it's like seven and a half. If I do to right here. So this is 11 and a half, yeah. If you go down to the very tip. It's like, my face is like seven and a half to eight. Um, so bangs are 11 and a half inches. Crown from here down is 17 inches. The sides are 16 and a half inches. So there is some layering there. Um, and the nape, so right at the bottom down is 15 and a half inches. So it's a gorgeous long wig. Um, I wanted long locks and I still do. Um, 
and it was just so pretty to have the long hair that I've always wanted uh, with this wig. So I love it. It's beautiful and um, just going to a different color. So let me go ahead and show you inside the cap of the John Renault Zara. All right. So outside, here's some, so you can see some of that beautiful shade here we got going on. Beautiful coloring. I'm not going to be a pro saying all your, your colors. It's just a beautiful, beautiful blonde. Tons of colors in there. I've gotten tons of compliments when I have wore this. I haven't worn it that much, but when I have wore it, I've gotten tons of compliments asking me, how did your hairstylist do that coloring? It's just incredible. So, anyway, all right, let's turn this and show you inside. All right, so this is the lace, smart lace front. See, it kind of extends there a little bit. Not all the way, but a little bit there on the sides. So this is um, common right here in your monofilament and smart lace. So you will want this. It's normal, so if you get this and you're like wondering what this is, this is normal in all smart lace and monofilaments. Okay, so we have a monofilament cap here, all hand tied. The knots look pretty well on it. And then we have our wefted cap. Lots of good stretch on this. This is the large cap. Velcro tabs on each side, so nice adjusting. You can really loop them in and make it smaller. Um, I couldn't gone that much, so I'm, I'm kind of an in-between average large. Um, but all my others are average and fit fine. They kind of this one doesn't raise up that much though but anyway so this is the John Renault large cap Zara wefted it has the felt tabs there so that's nice like I said I'm not a pro at these videos but I will get there so it does have a little metal in the ear felt tabs um, let's see what else I wanted to say um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wig, and it has great layering, and you can do so much with it with because of the length. So, if you haven't got yourself a Zara wig, you want to get yourself a Zara wig. I got this from uh, wigstudio1.com with Andrea there. So, wigstudio1.com, and... Um, she does periodically on her website 30% off. So this video has been on the John Renault Zara wig in 1426S10. Beautiful, beautiful coloring. If you have not gotten a Zara wig, get yourself one. I got this at wigstudio1.com with Andrea. Check out her website. I'll link it down below. And you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.